hi everyone good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are my name is pankaj thingra and as you all know me by now i am a proud fintrammer welcome welcome friends welcome to the fintram cpa success stories yes my friend this time we have cpa success stories because we have to share what the cpas have been doing the way they have been doing today we'll be talking to a cpa who is now a cfo and a cfo of a multinational and i do feel that there is a need to learn from him because we have to know what he did the way he did so we'll be touching upon and of course we'll be talking upon with him in terms of all those detailings all those facts that we need to know to really be a qualified successful cpa i'm talking about mr amit sachdeva he is a qualified cpa and ca and of course he is now a cfo of a well renowned company should we go and touch base with him and talk to him because we really want to know his secrets of becoming a qualified cpa should we go and check in yes sir but before really going there i would want you to subscribe to our channel fin tram global so that you can keep getting these informative videos agar video acha lage to end me like zarur dena because these likes only keeps us motivated should we go and talk to amit yes sir all right uh welcome amit welcome uh, and you know thanks for really taking out time and being here uh, and of course you know just to set the perspective for all of us to be on the same page uh, guys you know uh, uh, amit and i have been uh, you know have been knowing each other for a long long time and uh, amit is a veteran in the in the in the in various corporates and have had you know various hats uh you know in the finance as a function leading to the cfo uh, domain and cfo profile that he's handling right now he is currently a cfo with igt uh and has been uh, in you know a cfo with grofers in past and with wipro for you know for a long long time uh we know each other we have uh, you know have worked together in wipro for you know when when we were together and of course you know we were doing uh, different functions in different domains in finance and uh i really thought that it is a great opportunity for all of us in you know to really uh, hear from him in terms of you know uh, what has led to his success uh, more from the standpoint of he being a being a ca and a cpa uh, so my intent of uh, having the success stories with and then sharing that with all of you is is primarily to talk on in terms of you know uh what has helped an individual and how the individual has really capitalized the qualification and how he has reached where he has reached that is the intent of uh, you know the session and that's what we'll be we'll be really carrying through you know in in the coming 40 to 45 minutes or so so welcome amit welcome on board and uh, really really thank you know thankful for taking our time no thank you pankaj uh, really appreciate you know i think i've done few of these sessions and uh, i look forward you know interacting uh with you know participants uh, is always a pleasure talking to you uh thanks uh, you know for inviting me i can take a couple of minutes just introducing myself to everybody here uh i'm a chartered accountant did my graduation way back in the days you know almost like two two and a half decades back from srcc uh went on to do uh you know my uh, chartered accountancy joint ge when ge was you know still setting up what we know today of genpack that was where you know i actually got the opportunity to do my cpa uh, you know beckers actually did a tie up with uh, ge at that point of time and uh, i was fortunate enough to you know enroll into that and go through the entire program with that uh did 15 years with wipro after that last five being the cfo of their bpo division that is where pankaj and i worked uh, together for a long period of time uh post that i joined grofers you know grofers was uh, coming up at that point of time as uh, one of the prominent online uh, grocery delivery company uh, uh, did work there for 3 3 and a half years we were almost on the verge of getting ourselves ipo on nasdaq Uh, by a spark sparks were very uh, you know prominent at that point of time a couple of year, uh, years back uh, that is when when we were still in the process of ipos matter came in 
uh, we rebranded ourselves to Blinkit, you know, moved to 10 minute delivery, which is revolutionizing the delivery, grocery delivery business today. Uh, once the transaction was done, uh, I moved on from there. And uh, in my recent role, I joined IGT, as Pankaj mentioned. IGT is a digital CX company earlier owned by uh, Interglobe Group, the guys who own uh, uh, Indigo. And they had actually sold it to a private equity uh, company called Bearing. Bearing is a large, uh, uh, you know, private equity based in Southeast, South Asia, now owned by equity equity which is a swedish private equity so i think it's been a great uh, personal great journey for me uh, you know in this uh, domain uh, over the last 20 we've been working for like 25 years but it's just like you know every day uh, there's a new learning there's something new that you're always uh, uh, you know unearthing so and this is all, uh, and you know i keep on telling pankaj this is a great opportunity for me also to keep abreast with what's going on in the recent, uh, you know, financial world and gives me an opportunity to also, uh, you know, work on my learning uh, on the advancements made in the financial world. Pankaj. Thank you, Amit. Thanks. And, uh, you know, as as I've been saying, guys, uh, you know, you have to vouch for the experience that he has has gained over a period of time with so many corporates. And that is something to learn from and that is something to relish upon um, you know, as we go forward. This is a great opportunity, guys, for all of us to really have an interaction with one of an industry expert. And we should somewhat, somewhere try to, you know, get the max out of it by, you know, of course, not only understanding what he did the way he did, but also to, you know, have, you know, any kind of uh, rightful questions for him in terms of, you know, what he what, you know, where he can help you in your journey per se. All right. <clears throat> so before we really, you know, uh, go deeper and of course you know try to understand more from uh, you know amit i mean first question that that i have for you and this is more to you know have a right start for all of the folks uh, how did you circle down on cp as a qualification you were a qualified chartered accountant you were doing what you were doing in g and you know everything was i'm sure you know would have been going fine that point in time Growth would always be there at the back of you know of your mind, and as it is for all of us. But what really made you circling it down to CP as a qualification? If you if you can throw some light on that. Sure, Pankaj. I think a couple of things. I know it's way back. You know, and if my memory serves me right, we are almost talking about twenty five years back. So I think uh, two uh, key pivotal things which you know I can share with the group, uh, Pankaj. Obviously, first was. Uh, the fact that GE was setting up their financial centers, you know, in India. And mind you, at that point of time, they were not a third party, you know, service provider like what GenPAC uh, is today, you know. Uh, we all were part of, you know, it used to be called Jekis way back in the days. And we always saw ourselves as an extension of GE businesses and not just like somebody running a third party outsourcing a process out, you know, out of India. So. So for, for me, I think I was fortunate to be part of that journey when, you know, how the outsourcing industry was still, uh, you know, germinating in India in 1999, 2000. You know, I think there were a handful of uh, companies doing it. Uh, Amex used to do that. Uh, and But I think the real turnaround that was done largely on around F&A proceeds was done by uh, GE, you know. So I think for us... Uh, being able to understand and appreciate things that we were doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I used to work for a, a, a G had bought a IT, IT services company. We were almost like a billion dollars at that point of time. They had bought that company and I was part of the controllers group, uh, you know, doing their financial reporting uh, and year-end reporting, you know. So I think that was, for me, the the, the Key thing was, you know, being able to have a international degree on top of CA. You know, I think the the fundamentals of accounting remain the same. You know, I think whatever debit credit rules that have been taught to us, they don't change. Uh, the the it's just how uh, you know you articulate yourself. You know, out here you will call P and L statement. There it's called income statement. You know, so I think things the right things that you need to know that was very important. We were actually dealing with. Uh, U.S. controllers, U.S. CFOs, and I thought it was 
a critical thing for me to have a US qualification as uh, you know opposed to some uh, something in UK. I remember at that point of time, ICW in the UK used to be a big uh, thing. You know, CFA was coming up, but I think for me, what what what, what was the main uh, a differentiating factor was uh, the fact that I was working for a US business and a, a degree which was uh, globally acceptable, not just in the US. Secondly, I think uh, 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 the support that we got from G at that point of time also, I think uh, Beckers, we did that with Beckers at that point of time. So G and Beckers had actually got into a corporate tie-up, you know, and they enabled most of the uh, uh, the whole idea of, you know, doing these classes. The classes were held in GE offices uh, on the weekend. So that made it a little uh, easier in terms of, you know, our ability to access uh, Becker's classes. Uh, and I think for me, the success lay in, uh, it was a hard hustle, you know, five days of uh, work. And then two days of, uh, you know, classroom classes. We didn't have online, you know. I, I don't think uh, there was a concept of online at that point of time. So we had to come to offices, physical classes. Uh, and uh, I think uh, at least the a good sense of going and attending those classes, you know, I think that made a big difference for me. You know, I mean, while you go through the books, the CDs and the study material, but I think being aware of what's going on uh, in those classes, I think that was I I I think that was probably very uh, big uh, thing for me now looking back uh, days. You know, so I think a combination of both uh, Pankaj peer pressure. I think we had so many people doing CPA. You know, and I saw value in you know those guys. A lot of the batchmates that I see today are like CFOs of large public listed companies in the US. You know, I'm not talking in India. But actually, you know, uh, and background very similar to us in terms of what we've uh, come up. And indeed, they are. Many of us, you know, Amit, are, are now the common friends also, right, who have really been into so many big corporates and doing so many things. So very right, you know, it was it was certainly a need of the hour at that point in time. And of course, you know, with the way things were happening, you know, you had to get something on, on your, you know, for yourself. And what is better than having a U.S. qualification for you? And guys... Uh, you know, this actually circles down somewhat somewhere to the same positioning where we are right now, because uh, many of us are also working five days a week, six days a week and having classes over the weekends and, of course, doing what we're doing. And it is certainly not easy. That is where, you know, uh, we probably have to somewhat somewhere correlate ourselves that, you know, we are not alone in this ship. People who have done and people who have reached where they have reached, they've also gone through the same journey and same struggle per se. But Amit, you know, this, you know, the I would say moving forward, the, the and again, I'm just bouncing off questions that are really coming on to my mind. One of the things that that people might be interested in knowing is that you decided that, you know, yes, this is the reason you want to go with CPA. You started off your preparation and you did what you did. <clears throat> if I really have to uh, ask you that, you know, how did you prepare for CPA and what was what was your challenge if if you have to or what was your one uh, challenge that or a concern that you observed at that point in time for clearing this then what would that be so i think firstly Pankaj, let me tell you a funny story i think when i did CPA and probably i think that was the time you also would have done it i think it used to be a paper pencil exam it wasn't a computer based test and it it used to happen over uh, two days, uh, you know, four exams. So morning we start at 8, 8.30, uh, finish off till 12.30. And then again, you start at 2, finish at 6.30, come back the next day. Again, 8 to 12 and then 2 to 6. And then that is how it was. So no time in between. Uh, and, I, and I think obviously I didn't realize it was so hard when I actually signed up for it. I thought it is CA is what, you know, if you've done CA, you'll be end up, you'll end up doing CPA as well, you know. So I think uh, from, from the perspective of where, you know, the, how the CPA has also evolved over the years, you know, I think I still feel while uh, that was the logistics side of it, you know, I think just, just on the uh, preparation side of it, you know, I think uh, thanks to Becker's you know, at least they helped us organize uh, you know, what you need to, uh, 
you know, the right way of studying is probably half the, the job done. You know, you still need to do the hard work. You need to go through your tests. You need to go through your practice tests and everything, you know. But for me, I think the biggest challenge, as we talked earlier, is, you know, along with the job, how do you actually, you know, balance it with working? Uh, secondly, retrain your mind on some of the, like on the, on the, you know, as I said earlier, how do you retrain yourself not to call it an income statement or a balance sheet? And how do you start learning the, the language that, you know, that's been spoken out there? You know, it wasn't hard. It was hard. You know, nobody uses depreciation there, you know, so I think that becomes amortization. So I think how do you undo what you'd learned at the time of your chartered accountancy during your, you know, our graduation and retrain yourself to actually concepts being taught uh, for CPA, you know, I think once you once once you get the handle of it, then I think obviously it was uh, easy, uh, but I think I can't, uh, you know, not emphasize enough the impact of uh, going through the uh, curriculum, you know, I think sometimes you feel, uh, you know, I'll go through the study material or I'll probably just glance through it uh, and I'll be okay, you know, how hard can it be? But I think what the, uh, the, the knowledge that you get in going through the classes, you know, I think the immersive experience that you get by being there, by people asking questions and that you know, uh, gets your uh, thought process also going, you know. So I think for me, I was very fortunate to, I don't know how, but, uh, you know, I was just like, I was there, I attended probably bearing a one or two classes that I would have missed, you know. Uh, I was very regular in attending my classes. And I think that is probably the reason, you know, I think with some part of luck, with hard work, with the right curb, you know, uh, training material and coaching, uh, I was actually able to, uh, you know, pass CP in the first attempt itself. It wasn't an easy task, uh, you know, four exams back to back. Uh, and I think the extra pressure of be that being the last paper pencil exam and moving to a con computer base. Now, I think I, I shouldn't say it's easy, but I think the ability to take exams as and an when you want to do it over a longer period of time, I think obviously it's gotten easy but you still need to go write the exam and uh, still pass it uh, is what the situation today yeah absolutely and needless to say you know one thing that that uh, somewhat somewhere you may want to add on is that in during our times this exam was in us you know so yep. we have to travel over there so Correct. while you know two days exam sub exam dene hain and uh, ikatthe dene hain but us bhi jana hai wahan ka expense bhi bear karna hai hotel mein bhi rehna hai travel cost bhi deni hai and so on so forth and that point in time one one thing that really works against us in us is the the temperature the climate yep. because if you're going there in winters we know how tough it is you know for giving those exams and all of that we all have seen that and guys this is the the uh, advantage that that all of us right now have because now uh, CP exams are being held in India. You uh, don't have to go travel. Uh, you know, there is no visa or ticketing issue per se. And then, you know, there is no climate impact any which way is on to yourself. Now, uh, considering we had to US, we had to give the exam because you can't stay there for long and, you know, give exams as per your own whims and fancies. Now you can plan the exam yourself, so you will plan for one subject, give that and then move on to the second and so on and so forth. That is also a big plus for anybody who is aspiring to be the CPA right now. Amit, one very critical point that you brought in and I really want to you know, take it very loudly and, 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 and boldly to all of you guys is that you mentioned that one of the, one of the re reason why you cleared your CPA in first attempt is that you have not missed your classes. And guys, this actually circles down to the fact that we have to learn from this. We have to learn from this that, uh, you know, he, you know, recorded classes in any which way is available, right? You can see it anytime that you wish and that you want. But being part of the class and being part of the forum is the super important thing because at that point in time, koi aapke man mein doubt nahi bhi aaya hota aur kisi aur ke man mein aaya hota and the, the other person asks that, you get to know it, you get to learn it, you get to you know, you know, cross question it and so on and so forth. Wo kabhi bhi recorded session mein nahi hone wala hai. So I think one of the key takeaways from what Amit just mentioned is that, you know, we should somewhat somewhere take out time, you know, whatsoever it is to really be part of our, you know, our live classes, because 
that helps that would always help recorded sessions to apne paas available hai recordings hame in sessions ki bhi mil jayegi but live environment mein aana uske aane ke liye ek time nikalna ek schedule mein baithna ek discipline rakhna apne mein hi ek advantage hai to to be there and to clear the exam in one go and you should not undermine that importance and i mean i really relished what you just mentioned that वो चीज हेल्प करती है आपका एक डिसिप्लिन मेंटेन करने में और फिर आपके यू नो आपको हेल्प करेगी इन टर्म्स ऑफ गेटिंग द रिजल्ट दैट दैट यू वुड वांट थैंक्स फॉर दैट अमित अमित यू नो थोड़ा सा और जर्नी में आगे चलते हैं मैंने सीपीए की सीपीए के बारे में सोचा मैंने सीपीए करी अब मैंने सीपीए करने के बाद क्या सोचा या क्या किया यू नो हाउ हैज बीन योर जर्नी यू नो हाउ डिड द सीपीए हेल्प्ड यू यू नो इन the place at which you were at that point in time and then switching on to other companies and doing what you did and of course you know reaching where you reached at this point in time so obviously i think uh, as i mentioned pankaj i think just the background of being in g you know uh, obviously that was a big help but i think so couple of big advantages i think career wise you know i think there were two or three opportunities i spent a lot of time in us and canada you know uh after i did uh my cpa and i think just the uh public appreciation the f- fact that you know you're already an india char- indian chartered accountant or an indian mba or somebody who's understood how basic accounting works and on top of it you know you put a globally accepted uh professional qualification you know i think it just takes away any questions or doubt that somebody has in terms of your capability or your ability i think that is typically what all you know b- good qualifications do you know if you go to an iit you don't have to explain any body what your capability or your caliber is you know it speaks for yourself you know for example if you go to xlri it speaks highly about you know the process that you have to go through to get yourself admitted into these large organizations and then i think the and the, the process that they take they take you through and then eventually you know the out, uh, the outcome of those 2 3 4 years of hard work you know that obviously shows because there is there is a method how you know those institutes have actually worked over the years you know i think that is obviously true with cpa as well you know they have a a global recognition uh it 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 is it it's not a fluke that you're going to pass cpa it is a lot of hard work it is it is a lot of commitment and application it, that you go, got to go through the process and get it done you know it's like how you pass the us bar exam as well you know it's not like a fluke that one day you're going to go write the bar exam and you're going to pass you know so that is not how these things work you know and i think my ability to make through interviews where you know i'm talking about formative years in my career as well you know was largely dependent on the fact that you have a global accredited uh, you know qualification sitting on your resume and and just takes the pressure out of you in terms of how do you crack those interviews while that is the optic side of it i think second is you know obviously the learning that comes in in terms of global uh, you know we just had i gap at that point of time you know your understanding of us gap and then eventually how you the ifrs is actually uh, you know uh, evolved was much later uh, early 2000 early you know late uh, 2000 as well you know so i think just the understanding and appreciation of how those accounting principles literature is changing and your ability to grasp those when you know the advancements or changes happening in uh, you know and in those environment that you you already have a competitive advantage you know over that i think one important uh, aspect that i want to talk to you about even you know i came back to india i joined Wipro, i joined wipro you know in bangalore we went through uh, largely you know being uh, working with us customers you know i think my biggest example is probably 3 4 3 years back when when grofers was actually doing an ipo in the us you know i think when we were doing our road shows when we were talking to investors bankers i think the ability to have a us qualification and something as big as cpa you know i mean it just what i felt is every time we got into a conversation you know i think there were obviously there nerves with us investors you know anchor investors were wanting to invest in company 
But I think just because you had that international qualification, you know, it's just give them the confidence that the leadership team or the management team that they are working with is equipped to actually do a US, you know, uh, IPO, you know. So I think, and 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 and, and obviously we we took a call of not going the, all the way. But I think that entire eight nine months, I didn't see any hesitation from any U.S. investors, bankers, analysts, uh, you know, media saying that this team wasn't ready to handle a U.S. IPO. You know, and I think these things, you know, they the effort that you are putting today obviously comes to you in some shape and form. You know, and how they say is that you don't eat the fruit the day you sow the seed, right? So I think. But the effort that you're putting in today in getting an international qualification, I think it, the, the benefits are long term, you know, five years, 10 years, 20 years down the line, you know, even when you get the right opportunity uh, and, and, and I think a lot of, uh, you know, b people who are pursuing their careers right now, you know, I think you will not know in what shape and form this is going to come, you know, and help you just because you have an you know a, a, a renowned or a world accepted accounting uh, degree you know people who want to relocate outside india i think you just need to go through basic credits some you know uh, uh, sometimes spent with public accounting accounting firms and you should have like you know a long and prosperous career working for any large organization in the us in in america in europe uh, Australia, you know, I know so many successful US CPAs actually being settled in Australia, you know, so I think so for, for me, it is it, it is like an investment, the treasure that you keep with yourself, Pankaj, you know, forget the, the what you'd get right away, tangible degree coming in, uh, you know, but I think the, 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 the effects or the benefits of that will be unfolded over a much longer period of time, you know, same thing why you do CA, same thing why you want aspire to go to a big uh, engineering institute, a great MBA college, actually. And I couldn't agree more on that. I think, uh, you know, it's optics, it's knowledge, and then it's credibility, you know, all go hand in hand. Absolutely. If you have something like this, and, uh, you know, that is something which market also relation, you know, your interview will also lo always look forward to. And, you know, if you have it, then, you know, rest is history like you know what had happened with us yeah. i mean actually you know this is actually bringing me to a point wherein um, you know i'm more tempted now to ask you that you know uh, what is your uh, suggestion or an advice to the fraternity at large who are thinking of you know doing cpa what should be their strategy if you have to really circle that down for them which should be like, you know, their go-go strategy, which, which should help him or help them, you know, clearing this and, you know, becoming the superstars of the future. Then what, you know, what would you suggest to them? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think uh, easier said than done, Pankaj. I think uh, uh, obviously you can learn from, you know, the, the, the path or process that someone has followed, you know. But uh, bottom line is, I think uh, each individual has to go through the hustle, the hard work themselves, you know. So there is no substitute for, uh, you know, going through the uh, process, you know. I think personally what worked for me was largely, uh, I think I would time test a lot of the practice tests that were provided to me. You know, I would sit... Uh, into a real-time situation and i think for us at that point of time it was paper pencil you know so sometimes uh, it becomes easier to say oh i mean i know this concept or i know this uh, i will um, uh, like i'll see it directly in the uh, in the paper itself you know in the exam itself you know but i think i created exam like situation you know at home i would uh, do time test those uh, you know uh, those uh, practice tests uh, and I would actually make sure that I, uh, you know, ask my teachers to evaluate those papers as well, you know. So I think uh, it just gives you a little flavor of how much water do you stand in because sometimes, you know, you don't realize uh, uh, where you stand in terms of your preparation and your test, you know. So I think I would, I went through, I don't know how many number of times I would actually keep on testing, 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 you know. Uh, with a timer, you know, I mean, if you're not timing yourself, it doesn't help, you know. 
that was probably one thing you know uh, i did very well secondly i think being part of a community group you know i think that was very helpful you know i think we were a group of almost like 19 20 people uh, all coming in from uh, you know different backgrounds by the way you know so while beckers did help us in terms of the evaluation like i went to denver because i had a ca you know uh, degree there were graduates who did not have a CA, you know, they ended up doing uh, to Delaware. So I think that assessment obviously was helped by, uh, you know, uh, by Beckers and uh, G as well in terms of they had a little CPA desk that they had created. I'm sure you will be probably extending that support or help to your, uh, you know, uh, students who are pursuing this. But I think being part of that community, you know, every Saturday, Sunday, those 20 people coming together in G's conference room, uh, spending almost like 16, 20, 16 to 20 hours, eight hours classes on one day and on the other, you know. I think that was, for me, I felt very uh, strongly in terms of, you know, being able to catch up of, you know, catch up how you're going through the entire process, you know. So I think between these two, um, I mean, I think, uh, everybody's smart these days they have access to social media they have access to all the training material online you know so i think each to each his own as they say you know i think everybody needs to work on what works for them you know i mean i think the, the students are much smarter than what we were at that point of time we didn't have access to a lot of the you know materials that you have access to today but now you know i think whatever is like you know whatever is working for you I, is probably you know i would suggest make that put that on a piece of paper have a plan around it and then you know you go about uh, you know executing that plan Pankaj. and I, I i i completely agree on that to an extent i you know i i can i can personally vouch that because you know practice in the cpa exam is going to be the key and I mean, you know what, I'm sure, you know, you are not that close to the content right now, considering, you know, it's long, long time. Right. But what Becker has done is that, you know, now we have the complete AI based driven LMS, uh, wherein, you know, you know, hundreds of questions, you know, basis, each concept as, you know, con you know, concept and syllabus areas are being given. And then you have the simulated tests also being there which are time tested. So, and you know, the, what Becker has done is that, you know, they have created the exams absolutely in the same format, like the way we would see when you will enter the exam center. So there are various exams, you know, and exams are like uh, topic based, syllabus area based. And then, you know, they have, you have, uh, you know, after two syllabus areas, you have one mini exam. And then after the syllabus areas, you have the complete full fledged exam like situations and exams given over there. So what they have done is that they really created and simulated the environment of the exam, which were not there, which was not there when we gave it, right? We have to, of course, follow a offline methodology of doing it. But now Becker does that. And, you know, then the complete review happens. You know, they tell you what is right, why it is right, and what is wrong, why it is wrong. And the, the marking happens in this and that. In addition to that, what they have also done is that they have started giving the AI CPA newly, newly released questions also now. So every time when, you know, after a few attempts, when AI CPA comes up and releases few questions, they've started incorporating that. So, you know, th this is a big advantage that is now available to all of the folks who are thinking about it because, uh, you know, all of the folks, you know, when, when you know, FinTram starts the, you know, curriculum, they get the online sessions and the online resolutions of, you know, what, what they would need from the syllabus area standpoint. And then, you know, the entire Becker content is any which way is being provided to make sure that, you know, they get the holistic view of, you know, how the syllabus areas look like. So guys, you know, this is something to, to really, uh, you know, know and learn that, you know, practicing is the key, you know, you practicing the, the LMS questions, you practicing the, you know, class questions. In fact, you know, uh, you know, in class also, we do various questions, you know, wherein, you know, we try telling you that, you know, why it is wrong, you know, in, and in CPA, the challenge is that, you know, you know, the, to, to spot out, you know, why something is wrong, because all of the choices at times seems to be the right, right? So you're finding out that, you know, okay, B, C, and D are wrong because of this reason. And that is going to be a challenge. And you can only excel on that once you have practiced too much on it. Otherwise, you would be in gray and, you know, the result would be in dark. So I think, you know, the key takeaway is practice, practice, and practice. And, you know, till the time you're really ready. And, you know, you're... LMS right now really provides you with a uh, 
uh, you know, it gives you a functionality that it will make you that, you know, depending upon your performance, it will tell you that are you exam day ready or not, because it will tell you considering, you know, it is completely AI based and it really tells, you know, how you're doing in particular area and so on and so forth. So very important that we are really taking this as a, you know, as a homework for us. Thank you, Amit. I think, you know, uh, it, it really makes me, uh, you know, uh, uh, exhale out the questions that I had, but I'm, I'm making this open to the forum. You know, you guys, if you have anything to be, uh, to be asked to Amit, you know, he'll be more than happy, you know, I'm sure, you know, uh, can support us in, in, in various ways. So anybody has any question, you know, you can bounce it off and, you know, we can take it on. Anybody? Any doubt? Any oh, that you have? Yes. Yeah, hi, uh, hi, sir. Uh, hello, Nick, sir. So I just have a small question. So, uh, you know, transitioning from uh, from a CA to CTA, uh, how did your uh, work profile change? I mean, how did your responsibility change? Uh, did it, I understood the points that you that you brought up. You know, the terminology is different and so on. But apart from that, how did you work? So I think two things, Uncle, largely in terms of the scope of work that we were doing. You know, I think. Uh, obviously, G was a U.S. company, you know, so your ability to actually converse, talk in the same language when you're talking to, you know, tax guys, uh, consultants in the U.S. I mean, it just makes your job significantly easier because you've gone through the hustle and have a professional uh, qualification. You know, I have controllers, by the way, American citizens uh, who went through the hustle but were not able to pass the exam, you know, because CPA wasn't an easy exam, you know, I think it is largely because of, you know, a structured process of, you know, how Beckers or, you know, others have actually put it for us to pick it up from there. And for somebody, you know, to come up and say, I'm just going to go through that process, do the testing and then be able to pass the exam. I think it isn't, it, it isn't easy. Like I, have, I know so many of my friends who are not able to pass CPA. Similarly, like you have situations here where uh, there are so many people who go through the hustle of chartered accountancy and still not being able to do it, you know. So I think for me, at least that, uh, you know, that uh, what uh, Pankaj talked about, the word credibility, you know, I think you bring in so much credibility on the table when somebody sees you as a CPA. It's a, it's a level playing field, you know, if you are working with a uh, a company which is not Indian, you know, India is okay because you're looking at IGAP or, you know, India is now, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it is, you, you, it is already level playing field for, you know, but when you start talking to customers outside India, when you start working with your peers, your colleagues, your people who are actually outside India, it creates a level playing field where you are actually being looked upon in a very respectable way rather than just saying, oh, you just know Indian gap. It is not how it happens in the US, you know. And I think the moment you have a qualification like that, you take that out of the equation totally, you know. Secondly, I'll tell you, I think a couple of things, you know, I, I took the US IPO experience, you know, I think uh, Wipro bought a company in 2014-15, uh, uh, you know, and it was a Florida based organization, you know, and I think we bought it and typically how you would see is like a big acquisition, $560 million paid for it, you know, uh, within Wipro, I think when we looked down upon people who had actually done a US CPA to, you know, to, to actually put people there, because the first thing typically large organizations do is they will put their own CFO, you know, I mean, where the money comes from, where the money goes, that is the most important thing, you know. So I think when you have a, you know, international qualification like CPA and, you know, there's a, uh, in, there's a the acquisition that gets done. Imagine like, like if somebody has done a CPA or somebody with a MBA or finance or a chartered accountant in India, what will be the preferable choice be? You know, I don't think you do, you don't need a NASA degree to figure that out. You know, I mean, I think as somebody who already has a chartered accountancy understands the ethos of an Indian company, and on top of it having a, a, a U.S. qualification, you'll be the first one to get preference for it. You know, and I think what technology has done today uh, also is that it's flattened the economy. You know, we keep on talking about that the world is flat. You know. And if you have a qualification that is accepted, not over, not in the U.S., you know, I mean, I think I have worked uh, with probably the largest economy where, you know, India works closely with, you know, 
so i think for us us has a very close uh, you know place business wise you know uh, but, but i think whether it is uk whether it is europe whether i talked talked about australia you know i think it's just the uh, you know you are plus one when it comes down to being accepted uh, for such global opportunities also and i'm saying uh, technically you are there you know nobody is questioning the technical aspect of it you know i mean i think if you've gone through the entire hustle you you have you been you have an mba finance you have a chartered accountant so i think you know the process you know i mean we don't have to talk about what is the accounting entry for depreciation or what is how how is amortization how do you do impairment you know nobody is going to ask uh, such kind of things you know but but that level playing field i think ankur for me that was that is probably a game changer uh because you are equals now uh, you know having a, a international qualification and and ankur i'll i'll just uh, you know uh, add, add add a color to it saying that you know uh, it was absolutely the same you know when i joined blackrock you know i can tell you and again i'm just extending the same you know in blackrock when you have a qualification like this and a blackrock like company really hires you you know the placement of yourself is is automatically is at a very different level so you you would be placed at a very different level and then and then of course you know your experience and your uh, throughput and your delivery really you know matters you know if you and you would anyway deliver right even if you would not be placed there you would anyway be delivering but since your placement happens at a very different level now what you would deliver is being recognized at a very different level too because you no know, you are being placed any which ways at a different level and now you're dealing with different level of people and of course you know now your output is being shown up to the leadership up to the senior leadership and you know your perception your uh, you know optics your ability to really maneuver and go up at, you know up the ladder is really enhances so it really increases your scalability your uh you know your value within the organization per se if you have a qualification like this of course there is certainly a change in the role because you would not be doing transactional roles any many more you would be more in, you know more moving on to the strategic side of it all right sir thank you thank you mr happy to answer guys anyone any question it's an opportunity guys you know fintram success stories are the are the areas or are the Uh, i would say uh, spots where and you should you know you can really you know exhale out the things that you really want to know from the industry and these are the reasons you know we bring these success stories to make sure that you get the best out of it bhavya i'm i'm i'm, I'm really seeing you smiling like chandrima so i'm coming on to you chandrima in a while but anything that you would like to ask my friend shivanand no i have a question go ahead nidhi yes uh, good evening sir uh Uh, it was actually a pleasure to hear it from you, Amit sir. So basically, I wanted to ask this one thing. I already have experience in auditing in PwC US SDC. So uh, I was always thinking of doing CPA because I wanted to open up my global opportunities. I'm planning to go there and work. So what are the chances of getting placed in PwC US? Like. Or in any of the big four firms, because these are the major firms that actually require CPAs, or the US uh, firms that are headquartered there. So the kind of scope of the work also gets enhanced if you are actually going in there and working. So what are the opportunities for a CPA as a fresher who has just cleared all the papers and then are out for the industry? Sure. So I think uh, uh, at least let me take my personal experience, Nidhi, and I think uh, obviously I. have not worked extensively in public accounting companies you know so after doing my ca i did you know i went to loda but very like very early in my career you know i had decided that i want to do something on the business side of things actually not on the you know on the public accounting or audit side of things you know so but i think uh, first let me take the example of gg actually runs a program called fmp uh, it's a global program within g uh where most of their you know finance hiring happens through the program you know it's it's a great program uh we had uh, fmps coming up it's called financial management program you know and you typically do six months rotations four rotations it's a two year program 
uh, they give you opportunity to work with G companies around the world, not only US around the world. So you enter that program, and I have I know CPAs who actually uh, MBA CPAs who largely come, you know, uh, or even graduates also. They have a four year program BA in accounting in the US, you know. So they would come in uh, and uh, probably start working with different organizations, and then depending on what uh, inclination they have, they would get actually. Uh, you know, recruited in the company that they would do it. You know. As an extension of that, they had a program called CAS, Corporate Audit Staff, uh, within GE, you know, who were FMPs with probably two or three working experience within GE companies, you know, and then they would actually become uh, an extension of internal audit. I shouldn't call it internal audit because they would do ops audits, they would do regulatory stuff as well, but they were largely the companies who would do and it wasn't from an audit perspective, but from an improvement perspective. How do you look at processes and work efficiencies about, you know, those processes and bring bring in best in class processes from around G companies, you know. So the idea was that entire FMP to cash program was like a six, seven, eight year program. And I can bet you if you look up most of those guys, you know, they would actually end up being controllers of large G companies uh fpna heads uh, and eventually cfos you know so i think there was a path that g had actually created to go through that path and and, and almost like 30 40 50 percent of people entering that program were graduates and cps coming into it you know uh now specifically to your uh point i think the advantage over the years now if you look at it you know i mean all of these big four are uh associate companies you know uh and they have now gone into uh uh, a deployment method also, you know, where they do secondment to a lot of the affiliates or as said, uh, firms outside, uh, not in the not in the US, but uh, outside US as well, you know. So now, if since you already have a PwC experience, you know, I think the best ways to probably look at, you know, uh, working hard, making a name within the PwC India, and the advantage of a uh, you know integrated program like probably what you know uh, what students are doing here when you put a wrapper of that integrated program and a qualification uh, uh, international qualification you know i think you move right at the top of the ladder when you actually see the secondment opportunities come in within pwc kpmg i know so many of like my part partner friends in kpmgs you know uh, asking me in terms of opportunities where they have, you know, asking for references to send people uh, to US, to Europe, you know, in fact, the guy who's worked, we are a Netherlands based company, you know, our parent company sits in Netherlands and KPMG Netherlands guy, he's an Indian, uh, you know, senior partner there. He keeps on asking me for reference for people who have international qualifications and a solid understanding uh, technically as well in terms of, uh, you know, when you go out uh, to some of these com countries actually, you know. So I think the, the advantage you will have is that you are already put yourself on top of the stack, you know. So it's not like that you have to go through the, you still need to make, do the hard work technically being there, understand, you know, your subject matter uh, knowledge, but it's just that you will always be looked upon higher than the others because of the fact that you stand a, you know, a qualification of which probably others might not have. One thing which you would, uh, which you would surely see Nidhi, uh, and I'm, I'm sure, you know, you would have seen it in PwC and that is the same in Deloitte and KPMG and so on and so forth. You know, they keep coming up with the IGPs. Uh, you know, for their secondments, for their international roles and positions and so on and so forth. And that is where, you know, many of the folks are not eligible since, since they do not have a CPA or an ACCA uh, or a CMA, you know, onto their CV, depending upon, you know, what role they are aspiring for and what role they really have on the cards. Having yes. a qualification like this, you know, and of course, you know, as Amit rightly said, you know, you know, like what we're doing, we're doing an integrated course wherein we are getting a dual qualification per se, you know, if we have a, even if you will not have a dual qualification, you'll have one, then also you're valuable there. But if you have two, you're super valuable there. And, you know, your uh, probability of getting selected and getting, you know, being chosen for handling those assignments really improves. The only thing that you need to ensure is that one, you are not missing out on these opportunities in terms of, you know, getting aware, getting known for it. And two, 
you know, you having the relevant connects. And this is the reason, you know, why I always say that, you know, nowadays the world is all about connections. You tell me how many of you have, you know, uh, the people who have uh, given classes to you, you know, whether on the XLRI side or whether on the CPA side, how many of you have connected with them on LinkedIn? How many of you have connected with me on LinkedIn? It is all about making connections. You know, one plus one connection can make you, you know, reach, you know, who you know, who knows where. Like what Amit said, you know, Amit, Amit gets an opportunity, you know, where and you can work with various international occasions and so, you know, in a in a particular accounting firm and so on and so forth. Likewise, X may have a different connect, Y may have different connect. They may be posting it out somewhere, but you may not be aware because you are not connected. So first thing first is that, you know, one should really enhance. And, you know, this is the mantra and you would have seen me, you know, saying the same thing when we were meeting live in the classes that, you know, we should have connections being made as soon as possible because those connections really helps you knowing what is happening at their side of the table. And even within your own organization, when you would join PwC or whatsoever, you have to make connections, right? Just in the interest of time, you know, I know, Amit, you have a hard stop at four, so I, I'll not certainly go beyond that. Guys, anything anyone may have before we really wrap up? Excuse me, sir. Uh, I have a question. Okay, ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Uh, hello, hello, Pankaj, sir. Hello, Amit, sir. It's very nice to uh, hear from you. So, actually, I have a question that uh, after the CP, I think uh, I am... As uh, I have, I don't have any uh, qualification. I have heard um, from many of my uh, peers that uh, if you don't have an audit qualification, then you don't get selected in uh, any of the big four or any of the auditing companies. Is that uh, is that like something like that or your qualification field? <laughs> this is like you're saying, I don't play cricket, but can I be picked for Indian cricket team, you know? So, you know, unfortunately, you know, I think uh, obviously, uh, uh, you know, things have evolved, by the way. So I think I won't discount that entirely. I think if you look at uh, the amount of work that some of the uh, centers, you know, captive centers are doing for KPMG, some of the big four, you know, I mean, I think uh, head of KPMG, Shared Services, a very, you know, a good friend, you know. So, But if you look at them, Chandima, so I think obviously you don't need a audit experience or an audit background to get through to the big four. There are enough other opportunities within the big four also, you know, there is forensics, uh, there is technical, uh, you know, accounting, uh, there is, uh, you know, valuations, you know, I think we go through, we pay huge top dollars, you know, every time that there's a valuation, uh, there's internal audit, but there is process engineering. Uh, so I think if you look at the breadth of services, that the audit companies also provide now outside of audit, you know, uh, are huge. And and if if there is so, if there's so, some you know preference that you have outside of audit, yes, absolutely. I don't see a reason. You know, I'm, I work. So we did a forensics with uh, you know ENY some time back, and uh, their head of forensics actually a uh, ex policeman uh, who used to work for the Canadian police. And uh, because of family reasons, he had actually moved back to India, you know, and he was partner in the NY doing their forensic, running their forensic department, actually. You know? So I think they have these pockets of, you know, uh, verticals or offerings also where you don't need to be an audit, like, you know, audit or audit to be breaking in the big four as well. To cut, to cut the long story short, Chandrima, there is no dearth of opportunities. Sirf audit nahi hai. Audit ke lawa baut sare aise functions hai jahan pe, you know, ye international qualification ko manga jata hai. And aisa nahi hai ki sab ko experience hota hai. You know, not everybody is born with an experience, right? So, none of us, right? So, we have to, we have to get that. So, aisa nahi hai ki sirf experienced ko job milti hai. So, jo bhi aapko kaya rana, uski pitai kar dena aaj jaake ki aisa kuch nahi hai. All right, guys, just in the interest of time, if we do not have any, or probably I'll say for, you know, say one last question before we really wrap up, if there is anything. All 
all right good guys i think uh, it was uh, it was very good you know for you know and, and i i do feel that you know many of us have still not joined today which is which is sad uh, but uh, you know for all of us who have joined i think you know uh, thank you for that and uh, many thanks to you amit for really taking out time i know it's a sunday and you know india australia match going on so i know how tough it was for me to re really take amit out of that match trust me guys you know uh, but thank you very much amit for really being so kind and uh, you know guys there is certainly a need for all of us to really learn from these veterans um, and learn the way you know what they did the way they did and it is very important as i have been saying all along to make connections guys having connected is the key is the key is the key let's not forget that and that's what you know you would hear us saying in all of the fintram success stories thank you very much amit for joining in i really find you know it was really pleasure to have you here as always and we look forward for many such sessions thank you very much thank you guys much appreciated thank you sir bye bye bye, bye. Thank you, guys. We will be seeing you in in uh, you know some other success story with some other you know uh, gentleman or you know uh, lady on the cards. We'll certainly take this up. Thank you very much. Thanks, Pankaj. Thank you. Thank you, sir.